evening and welcome to the Post Game Press Conference with Head Women's Basketball Coach Danielle Santos Atkinson. Uh, before we go to the questions, Coach, what's your thoughts following the game against Chris Hart? Uh, I thought, I mean, first game of the year, I, I thought there's a, a lot of positives to be able to pull out of it. Um, we got ourselves the free throw line in that first half. Uh, we, over 40 rebounds, we had 16 offensive rebounds. Um, we, we stayed aggressive. We were looking to push. Uh, we held them offensively on the offensive boards. Just some of the keys that we were looking at, they only were able to uh, connect on 3-3. Three three. Some of the things that we wanted to take care of um, going into this game, we were able to do. Uh, obviously didn't come up with the win. That is, that is one of the one of the things that, that we wanted to be able to take care of. But again, first game of the year, a lot of positives to be able to take away. Chloe Sterling had a career high tonight. Um, how crucial is she going forward? Obviously, she played a big part in this game. Yeah, she, I mean, she's a great player. I think she does a great job of leading us. She does a great job um, of getting us in positions to be able to uh, score. And then she's a two-way player. So defensively, she's able to, to defend um, even the best players on the floor. And offensively, she's able to go and, and score and, and connect for, for buckets for us. One of the positives of tonight was the two-man kind of high-low action that Swint and uh, Corbett, Corbett. How do you kind of like that? And how do you build off of that and try to incorporate more of that into your offense going further down? Yeah, that's a, it's a great tandem, great duo. Those two right there, I mean, uh, both of them are, are could be – uh, double doubles every night and, and just their presence and their physicality and the paint and, and what they bring and their aggressiveness to go get the boards. I think that's a, that's a great tandem for us. I think uh, we've got some um, post up, which is great to be able to help us there. But those two in the high low action um, is, is something that could be uh, very, very positive. Corbett was reading some of that today after the game. Can you tell me just, uh, tell me about the moment there in the floor and how much it yeah, I mean, they put points on the board for us, and they and they did it, uh, you know, at a at a high level, which was great. Um, Lene stays on the boards. Um, she's a very aggressive rebounder. She got in a bit of foul trouble early, and so that was tough having to having to sit for a bit. But I thought in the second half she came out and and showed what she could do. And then obviously again, Chloe, she's a, she's just a great floor general for us. She has the ability to score it, but she also uh, is able to put people in a position to to score it as well. Um. Uh... You had mentioned double double tonight for uh, Lene, uh, Kayla. Um, she had a, sort of a slow start. What do you make of her resilience throughout the match, uh, and especially for a freshman? How that can contribute going forward? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we knew as a freshman, you, you come out there, you got some first game jitters, probably for all of them, right? And so coming out there, I just knew she she got, she need to get get herself going and get settled in a bit, but. Uh, coming from a high school that that plays you know high level basketball and one of the top high schools in the country, she's she's used to the moment um, and she's used to coming out there and, and playing on the big stage. So I think when she got comfortable and settled in, then she was able to do what she does. Emma has been one of this team's leaders uh, for the past two years. Today looked a little bit lost out there with the new offense. Only played twenty three minutes, which is on the lower end for her. How do you work on trying to get her more incorporated? Yeah, Emma's a huge part of our offense and, and always will be. Um, she does a great job of, of stepping up and knocking down shots. I think in that first half, getting her in a, a bit of foul trouble was a little bit tough. Um, and in the second half, uh, some of the things that we wanted to do defensively uh, held her for a few minutes, but she is a huge part of our offense and, and for sure will have nights where she's contributing a lot more than she did tonight. Hey, Coach. Um, so in the first half, uh, your backup point guard minutes went primarily to NC, mm -hmm. uh, and then from the second half, uh, Allo took those minutes. So what what goes into the decision making when you make these pass plays? Yeah, Michaela's a great uh, point guard for us. She is, and, and again, I think everybody had some some first game uh, jitters there. Um, she's going to be a great one to be able to play. We like playing her and Chloe together. Um, and being able to move Chloe to the wing a bit or even be able to move Michaela to the wing, but having the two ball handlers out there that can run our offense and, and uh, being able to uh, keep our tempo where it needs to be, uh, I think we can do a great job with that. And so I think Michaela is going to be uh, able to contribute in, in lots of ways, um, just getting her settled in and, and ready to go. And then also um, in the first half, especially uh, Emma Kirby, she went, I think, 7 of 7 in the first half. 
uh, just really dominating down low. I thought Cy did a pretty good job of staying straight up when she was defending her, but how else can you guys look to, um, I guess, turn teams away uh, when they have somebody, you know, dominating in the first place? Yeah, I think some of her points came from some of our defensive rotations. Yeah. So they do a great job of getting downhill and, and forcing our bigs to help. Um, and when that happened, a lot of the times the person who's a secondary help was was a guard. And she just was uh, she just outmatched right there in that position. I thought we could have been a little bit more physical and, and forcing a tough shot, but of course we didn't want to foul. Rotating a little bit sooner, taking away that shot. Um, but I think from those rotations and then also from the offensive rebounds and being able to get some putbacks there, um, I, I think our, our posts do a great job defending when they are defending those people. I think once we get into those rotations and we've got to continue to work on how the secondary help is is making sure we're taking away shots. Sorry, last one. Um, so down in the first, in the towards the end of the first half, you guys seem to have figured out that press, um, and I know you guys are working on it in practice this week. Um, but then again, towards the end, just multiple turnovers against that press. So what? What was the message, I guess, to the team when those turnovers started, and how can you guys look to face future pressure against the Bulls? Yeah, I don't think the press cha- The press didn't change, right? And so it was just us and how aggressive we were in attacking it um, and how aggressive we needed to be in being able to get through that press and stand and, and continuing to attack it with confidence. I think we just went away from that. We quit playing uh, tempo and pace that we needed to play with to, just to be able to get that thing. I don't know how many – turnovers we had just from a 10 seconds, right? And and that's not something we, we want to be able to, uh, to do. So just uh, staying aggressive and, and keeping our confidence in the in the press, the press didn't change, right? And so for us to just to continue to be able to attack it um, there and continue to work at it, I, I think we'll be fine. Brina Larson for uh, her debut from the defense team in college. Five points with three assists, two steals, uh, three rebounds. What did you see from, what did you see from this team? Yeah, she, Sabrina did a great job. But one of the things that she does is she's a great glue, great connector. Um, she she understands defensively, philosophically what we're looking to do. She's a great defender. She gets in there, gets her hands on boards, will rebound the basketball. Uh, offensively, she's a great shooter, um, being able to step up and, and knock down shots there. And so I, I thought her, her debut, she did what we needed her to do and, and staying aggressive. All right, post-match press conference. Coach, thank you. Thank you.